Using our tool for real-time liquid simulation, you can easily apply force to liquid with force fields. This tutorial will show you how to use them to create custom game mechanics for your project. We created the logic of this scene with blueprints. It works like this the right click sucks liquid into the gun, charging the magazine. Left click releases the liquid. We used a force field manipulator to apply force to the liquid and push it in a specified direction. You can add a force field to the scene just like any other actor. To do this, go to the actors panel depicted on the screen, choose Zibra Liquid Force Field Actor, and place it wherever you need. After that, add the force field to the manipulator's list in the Zibra Liquids menu. Zibra Liquids has several types of force field available. Radial, Directional, and Swirl. Using the Radial Force Field, you can create radial gravity. You can attract liquid around the selected shape or push it away from the object. The Directional type of Force Field pushes the liquid in a specific direction, and the Swirl type creates the force that spins the liquid around. You can change the values of the strength and distance decay in each one of these types to customize how force influences the liquid. Note that the lower the strength value is, the less force will be applied to your liquid. Negative strength changes the direction in which the force is applied. Distance decay value defines the distance from which your force field will work. For loading the gun, we used a directional force field. It sucks the liquids into the void, placed behind the weapon. Void counts the number of absorbed particles, so you can see whether the gun is fully charged on the screen. After that, we implemented shooting mechanics. We used an emitter to spawn the liquid before the gun, and applied radial force field to create a water ball. Then, we changed the type of force field to the directional to shoot the water ball in the direction we're aiming. There are many ways you can use force fields to add interactivity to your game. This feature allows you to create portals, liquid spells, and other interactive VFX. Subscribe to our Discord to find more ideas on using our tool in your project.